Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel, Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful bottle art using the clay flowers, and I will share how to do the base coat of the bottle, how to do the coloring work, how to make the beautiful clay flowers along with the shading work, how to make the leaves scrolls and the beautiful hand painted background isn't it looking very attractive and i'm just in love with the color combination so much you can just put flowers to decorate your rooms so without any delay let's get started so this is the glass bottle which i'm taking today and i have cleaned it nicely before start with the work just clean with nice warm soap water and dry it thoroughly and then it's ready to use here i'm using white acrylic color to do the base coat you can also use gesso or any kind of chalk paint which you have but uh, use white in color so here i'm applying the first coat using flat brush So first coat is done and it's dried as well. Then here I'm taking the sponge to apply the second coat and just dabbing the sponge on the color and then on the bottle. In this way you will have the even coloring all over the base. You will not have any brush strokes if you are using sponge and it will also nicely cover each and every part. So this is done it's looking very very nice and smooth now it's time to find out the center so here on both the side of bottle there are already the markings and on the 9 centimeter height from top i have just added two marks then using one strip and from these markings i am just putting it like this to find out the center between both the markings so just need to fold the strip into half again put it on the markings and on the folded part I am marking exactly in the center so you have the center of the bottle then I am joining both the markings on left and right side to make the V shape so this is done then I am taking dark wine color in uh, acrylics and again using the flat brush applying the first coat Then applying the second coat and I'll mix it nicely using foam sponge. And this is completely done then just to do the finishing on the edge again I'm applying white acrylic color because of the sponge little color came out of the border so I'm just doing little finishing here and the coloring part is done then using the backside of paintbrush 
and white acrylic color i am just adding some dots on the neck of bottle for the decorations like this and then i'll start creating some scroll designs using the same wine acrylic color and the pointed brush here i'm using one number brush to make this beautiful pattern you can skip this part and directly adhere the flowers but i will like to do some base decoration before the clay work you can also do the dot mandala or you can uh, stick transfers decoupage anything whatever you like you can do then i'm adding some dots and using the contrast combination that is the white i am making some scrolls on the wine portion as well like this then adding some dots on this design as well just randomly adding some dots here and there using white color and this is completely done looking fabulous isn't it then i'm starting with making the clay flower so here i'm taking the air drying clay you can use any clay which you have but uh, i will prefer to use air dry only now just rolling it on the base we need little thick roll and then i am going to cut this in equal parts to create the petals of flower I am cutting here so that we'll get same shape of each petal. Now taking one of the piece, rolling it on my palm, making the ball shape and rolling it in one corner and just pushing it or pinching it. So you'll get nice flat teardrop shape. Similarly repeating for the remaining petals and if you find the clear is drying, you can just add few drops of water and it will good to go. So with the same method I am making all the petals.
then petals are ready creating some texture on each petal using the paper knife like this just making two grooves to do little shading and the petals are ready then sticking it with each other to construct the flower and for center of the flower taking small amount of clay making a ball sticking it in the center pushing it using back side of tool to make it flat and then using the paper cutter making some small dots and the flower is ready similarly i have prepared one more flower using seven petals the method is same just i have taken little bigger size of petal to create this big flower so flowers are completely dried now it's time to color the base coat using white acrylic color then after drying the white shade i am using yellow acrylic color and doing little shading from center towards the outer side You can use any color combination of your choice. Similarly, doing the shading on the other flower. then taking dark brown acrylic color and just painting the center portion of the flower and the flower is ready looking very cute and with the similar method i have prepared lots of flowers some are small some are bigger in the size but the method is same now it's time to make the scroll so again taking small amount of clay on the board rolling it nicely thin and just creating the pipe kind of shape now we have to roll this pipe to make the scroll shape cutting the excess clay and the scroll is ready similarly making one more so this is done then to make leaf taking very small amount of clay on my palm rolling on both the sides and pinching it in the center and the leaf is ready super easy making very small leaf or because i just want to add around the flowers to give nice foliage effect so not making bigger leaves here i like to dry completely similarly i have prepared some more so this is dried and i am coloring it using light green acrylic color Similarly I'm coloring the scroll and do the coloring portion only after drying. So this is also done. Then taking back the bottle and it's time to decorate this using handmade flowers, leaves and scrolls. So starting with the biggest flower and then I'll just decrease the size of the flower.
in between i am adding some leaves and scrolls then decorating the upper parts and the beautiful flower decoration is ready it's looking absolutely amazing isn't it if you want you can apply the varnish to protect it from dust and also after applying the varnish you can wipe it using a wet cloth for the cleaning purpose and tada you can decorate your drawing room study room or bedrooms using artificial flowers or fresh flowers as per your choice so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time bye bye